how to deploy any web application completely for free. This method will work if you're using a front-end framework, normal HTML, CSS, and any server-side code that you're using. Today we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video where I showed you guys how to integrate Stripe with your e-commerce website. If you missed any videos in that series, I'll leave a link up top and down below. First, we need to open our project in VS Code. Next, we need to navigate to our stripe.js file in our front end, and we're gonna need to change this URL here because we're not going to be using localhost 3000 anymore. We're going to call our instance in render Alvin's Pizzeria dot on render dot com and keep in mind you need to keep this create checkout session at the end so it will still work with stripe and here is going to be the subdomain that on render forces you to use but you can go ahead and name this portion whatever you want and i'll show you guys how to do that in a second next we need to go to our server.js file and our origin is not going to be localhost anymore this is going to be the url that you can access your web application at so what we're going to do is use alvin's pizzeria.netlify because that's what we're going to be using to host the front end dot app so again this is going to be the subdomain that netlify is going to force you to use followed by your custom name right here. Now I'm gonna scroll down and in my case, I'm already running something on port 3000. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 3500. And if it's pulling from your .env file, the port right here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is also correct in your .env file here. Next, what we wanna do is grab our git ignore file. I'm actually gonna cut that and I'm gonna put it in my project folder instead. So notice how I'm moving that from my server to my project folder. And so we can successfully add this to GitHub. What I wanna do is ignore my node modules here. Next, what I need to do is create a package.json for my front end. If you're using React or Angular, you should already have this. But since I'm just using normal HTML, CSS, I need to create it myself here. So I'm gonna open my terminal, go to my command prompt here. I'm going to CD into my client side code. And once I'm there, I wanna use npm in it and make sure that you guys have npm package manager and node.js installed or this will not work. So next you wanna go ahead and create that. And then this is going to let you set up your package.json. We're not going to specify any of this. We're just gonna go ahead and hit enter for all of these, type yes. And now you guys can see that our package.json is created successfully. And this is going to be used for the dependencies that we're going to be installing in a second. And next what we need to do, since we're using HTML and CSS, we're going to be using gulp to compress all of these files and store them in a dist folder so we can upload that to Netlify. If you guys are using something like React, you don't have to go through this process. You can use something like npm run build and it will create that dist folder for you. But first, I need to install my dependencies here. So I'm gonna run the command npm install gulp gulp terser, gulp css, gulp html min, and save dev right here. This will be down below in the description if you guys need this installation. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and let that do its thing. And you guys will know it's installed once the dev dependencies show up right here in your package.json. Then what we need to do from there is in our client folder, we're gonna create what's called a gulp file. So we're gonna call this gulp file dot js like so and then i already have all the code written out all of this will be available in the github link below if you guys need it but all you guys need to know about this is that we're using gulp our terser our css and html minifier here and what we're doing is we're getting all the files from here we are minifying them and storing them in the specified folders right here. So this is gonna store it in our dist slash scripts. And you guys wanna make sure that this folder name matches up to wherever you have your scripts file already. So notice that scripts and scripts matches here and styles 
matches where I have my CSS folder here as well. And then for HTML, I don't have it in a separate folder, so I can just leave it as star.html to grab all the HTML files. And so what I need to do now to actually run my gulp file.js is I need to go down here, staying in my client and run gulp. And that's going to minify and add all my styles, JavaScript and HTML into a disk folder here. And I was running into a problem with my images. So what you guys are gonna wanna do is make sure that your images like mine are already compressed. If you need help with that, leave a link right here. I'll go ahead and copy this and manually move it into my disk file like so. So I have all my images there and all the information that I have. And if you click on this, you're gonna notice that this is a successfully compressed HTML file and the same goes for your scripts and styles. So what I need to do now is navigate to GitHub. If you guys don't already have a profile, go ahead and create one. And we're going to need to create a new repository. So I'm going to navigate over here to my repositories and I'm going to create a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and call this app-deploy here. And then you guys can go ahead and add your description. I'm going to leave it as public for now, but know that you can make it private if you want to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create the repository. And the reason we're doing this is because when we're creating our server with on render, we're going to point it to GitHub so it can actually run our code. And then what we wanna do here is we wanna use these commands. And you guys need to know that before you can push any of this code to GitHub, you guys actually need to install GitHub globally or locally to your computer. I will leave a link to that down below. And the first thing I wanna do is get outside of my client. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open a new command prompt and that will move us into our project directory here. And the first thing I need to do to actually create a Git repository is run the command git in it that will create our repository. And then I need to run git add, and then I just need to include a period. So I add all the files from here into the git repository that we just created. So we'll let that go ahead and run. And then all we need to do is copy this code down here and go ahead and paste it into here. This is fine, go ahead and hit paste. And you guys wanna make sure that you click enter on all of these so it successfully runs and you're gonna see that it's adding all of my information into my Git repository. Now, if I go ahead and refresh this on the GitHub side, you're gonna see that the client is here and the server is here as well as our Git dot ignore file as well and if we open this you're going to see that our node modules and our env file is not present because we included that in our git dot ignore file here if you guys screw up anything while you create your git repository in your code what you want to do is navigate to git bash and in this terminal you can completely remove your git repository and start from scratch so we can use rm rf dot git here and this will completely delete the repository that you created just here in your project not on github and you will be able to create a new repository and start from scratch just in case you mess anything up next we want to go ahead and navigate to onrender.com right here and if you don't have an account already you guys are going to want to create one here but in my case i already have an account and make sure you log into your github account through on render so it will actually work then what we want to do is click on new we want to add a new web service here and what it's going to let us do is it's going to let us point to a public git repository so we're going to go ahead and select that go back over to github what i want to do is navigate to the root of this repository so i'll go back to repositories click on app dash deploy go ahead and copy this url since it is public and then I'll go ahead and paste it right in here. And now we need to click connect and that will connect us to GitHub in that specific repository. So if we go back to our stripe.js file, you guys are gonna remember that we titled this Alvin's Pizzeria.onRender. We're gonna wanna go ahead and copy our name from here and specify it here. So we're keeping this the same from our code and in our service here. Next, we wanna leave this as main because that's where we're getting our information 
from GitHub. Next, our root directory is going to be server because that's where our backend code is right here. And since we're using node.js, we wanna leave this as node, but you guys can choose from any of these depending on the runtime that you're using. And again, since we're using node, our build command is going to be npm install. So we'll include that there. And our start command is going to be node server.js. We wanna scroll down to where it says free, we want to select that one. Know that you can get a better service here if you upgrade, but we're gonna go ahead and use free for now just so I can show you guys what's going on. And the last thing we need to add before we click create service is we need to add our environment variables. So if I open back up our project file, you're gonna remember that we had the .env file. Any environment variables that you have in here that you're using in your server.js, for example, right here, our Stripe private key, you want to add those right down here and that will make sure that it keeps this from getting out and available to other people. And you can also add from ENV. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and add these in here manually. So I included the Stripe private key right here. And now I need to add the client URL, which is going to be whatever you specified as your URL origin here in your server.js file. And we're gonna go ahead and paste that in like so. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and click on create web service. And here it's going to show you all the logs where it's going to run your new service and just let it do its thing. And for some reason, if you go in here and update any of your server files in GitHub, like so, I can go here and click edit this file. Like let's say I need to change my origin here because this is different than what I thought it was gonna be. You can change this origin, go ahead and click commit changes. But now since your service is already running, what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to click manual deploy and deploy latest commit if you make any changes in your GitHub repository. Now you guys can see that our service is live and if we scroll up, you're gonna be able to see our on render URL here. We're gonna go ahead and copy that. And again, make sure this URL matches whatever you're using in your stripe.js so your front end successfully points to your back end. So if you guys can see here, I messed up something because I did not make this HTTPS. So I need to go ahead and add that. And keep in mind, if you guys make any changes to your front end code, once you already created your disk folder here, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and delete this disk folder. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and run your commands again to create that disk folder one more time. And now what we can do is we can once again copy this link and then we can navigate to netlify.com. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. You can trust it. I log in using GitHub. And then once you're in the team overview page here, you can click add new site. Click on that and we want to deploy manually. From here, you wanna to navigate to wherever you're storing your project on your computer, navigate to your client, and we simply want to select this dist file here and drag it into Netlify. And this is going to be what amounts to our front end for our web application. Let that run for a second. Go ahead and open production deploy to test it out on your URL here. And you're gonna notice that it gives us some ridiculous URL. To go ahead and change that, we're gonna navigate back to Netlify, go to site configuration, go to change site name underneath site information. And we want to change this to what we specified in our code of Alvin's Pizzeria netlify.app go ahead and save that and then if you guys need to change it again you can click on this again or if you need to redeploy your code because let's say you mess something up right here is where you'll be able to do that so all you need to do is drag your disk file here and it will replace all your files if you guys made a mistake by accident now i want to close out this url here and navigate to our new deployment url right here and make sure that your render is still running and you will know it's running correctly because it will say your service is live. Next, we wanna open our URL and we're gonna add something to our cart to make sure everything works correctly. And we're going to open our console here. Go ahead and click submit and see if our Stripe successfully works. As you guys can see, our Stripe now successfully works and this is a live instance on the internet. 
you can actually accept payments through all of this with Stripe. If you guys have any questions, go down in the comments and let me know. I will respond to you and guide you guys through the process. I hope the video helped out today. Thanks for watching.